All righty. So just before we start here, I do want to make a quick note. Um, anything that I'm doing today, please use it as just a guideline. If uh, you have any injuries or limitations that prevents you from doing one of these in, uh, exercises, then modify it for yourself to, to make it work for your body. I just want to make sure that you don't get hurt. You're honoring your limitations and just having a good time because uh, that's really what this is all about. So when you're ready, we will go ahead and start on your mat for Shavasana. Option here is you can send your legs all the way long down the mat, just letting the feet fall to the outside edges. Relaxing in the thighs, relaxing in the ankles. If you need any extra support for the lower back, option is to bend through the knees, placing the soles of feet flat on the earth with the knees pointing up to the sky. Or option is to open up the hips and supine butterfly with soles of feet to touch and knees laid out wide. Then you can have the arms all the way long down the body with the palms facing up to receive energy. If you're feeling a little bit tired or run down. Or option to have the palms facing down to the earth to feel a little bit more grounded, especially if you're feeling anxious or stuck in your head. And maybe you want the arms all the way up above the head, opening up the shoulders, the heart. Wherever you find yourself, just bringing the focus inward, paying attention to the rise and fall with every inhale and exhale. Good feeling the lungs and the belly expand as you draw energy into your body, getting ready to begin your practice tonight. And then feeling that release as you let go of any distracting thoughts just melting into your mat. Good, coming through a cleansing breath here, bringing a deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly, holding a pause at the very top, gathering all the tension and anxiety that you're holding on to, and letting a loud noisy exhale through the open mouth, just releasing all of that. Good, one more time right there, big inhale through the nose, holding that pause at the very top, and loud noisy exhale, let it go. Good. Connecting to your Ujjayi Pranayama ocean sounding breath, bringing a slow four second inhale through the nose, holding a pause at the top. Push the breath into the back of the throat and then release a slow four second exhale through the nose, holding a pause at the base. Staying connected with the pattern of breathing that works best for you as we go throughout class today, just making sure that you're keeping the oxygen moving through the lungs and the muscles. And keep in mind, anytime that you need to take a break or just lay down and reconnect with this breath, that option is always available to you. Good, very gently wiggling in the fingers and toes, drawing awareness back into the body and opening the eyes if you haven't already. Good, if your legs aren't already, setting them all the way long down the mat, pointing the toes, engaging through the legs. Inhale, reach the arms above the head for the back wall. Big morning stretch. Good, let that low back arch off the mat below you as you lengthen your spine. And on the exhale, relaxing in the muscles, releasing arms into cactus, 90 90 to side the head. Good, one at a time, drawing knees in the chest. Option to wrap the arms around the shins as you take a little rock side to side, massaging the lower back into the mat below you. Good, here you can make the movement as big or as little as you like, so whatever feels more comfortable for the body. And take one more deep breath here. Good, and coming into stillness. Nice, extending both legs all the way up to the sky. Grabbing behind the thighs, calves, or ankles, throwing both legs in for double hamstring stretch, and just pointing and flexing those toes to the very top. Stretching out the shins and the calves. Good. When you're ready, bringing a flex through both feet, bending into both knees, grab it inside or outside your flippy, finding your happy baby, just opening up through the hips here. An option is to rock side to side if that's in your practice. Good, and coming into stillness, use the hands to close the feet together, bring the knees to touch and release the arms into cactus, 90-90 beside the head. Option is to keep the knees side by side, or you can cross that right leg over the left, inhale, draws knees to chest, and exhale, releases both legs to the left side of the mat. Option to bring the gaze over the right shoulder. Good, nice spinal twist here. As you inhale carefully, uncross knees, return the legs through center and rock it out side to side. 
Good, coming into stillness. Again, option is to keep the knees side by side, or you can cross that left knee over the right. Inhale, draw knees to chest, and exhale, releases both legs to the right side of the mat. Option to bring the gaze over that left shoulder, and an option again is to place that right hand outside left thigh, applying a little pressure, just relaxing here in your chest. Good, as you inhale, carefully uncross the knees, return the legs to the center, and rock it out side to side, neutralizing the spine. And coming into stillness, when you're ready, wrap the arms around the shins, take three big rocks up and down the mat, giving your spine a nice massage on the way. And meeting in seated, grabbing a nice sip of water. I lied to you, we're gonna meet in standing. Oh. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Make sure, Chase, are you good? Are you connected? I am, yeah. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna switch it up here to the um, fun playlist and then we'll go ahead and get started in standing, okay? Okay. So when you're ready, meeting in standing with the big toes touching, a little space in between the heels to that's the mountain pose. Good, standing up nice and tall. Inhale, the arms up, palms touch, option to back bend. And exhale, releasing forward into your fold. Good, inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, palms down, stepping back to plank. Pulsing the heels back, making sure the shoulders are stacked over the top of the wrist. Gaze up toward the top of the mat. Getting ready? In five, six, seven, eight. Heels back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Keep going, keep it more tight. And three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's four. Keep breathing. Five, bottoms low. Don't let the head hang. Six, you're halfway there. Seven. Eight, when I tell you now, you press back into down dog. 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down dog. Nice right leg lifts up to the sky. Getting ready. 5, 6, 7, 8, and up. 2, 4, 5. Keep both legs straight. 7, good. 8, 9, 10, last 20. 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice feet through the runner's lunge. Make sure that right knee's over top of the right ankle. Light on the fingertips, back knee drops. Getting ready? In five, six, seven, eight. It's down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last twenty. Light on the fingers. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 last minute, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Bring the feet together. We step it right and left. Let's go. Right, left. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 2. A little lower. 3, 4. Weight to my heels. 6, good. 7, Eight, nine, ten, last ten. Then you have the option to jump it out and in. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. We jump out. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're here. Last one. Keep going. It's my job. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Take the hop side to side. Legs are straight. And 
two, bring the arms into it. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Keep going, keep breathing. Three. Last 20 counts here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Reach the arms up. We're pulling that right knee up. And then the left knee. Really lifting the thighs, keeping the core tight. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right. Left. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two. Flex the feet. Three. Four, you're almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice back yourself up. Stepping in the squat, leading with that right leg. Keep the weight on the heels, chest up, getting ready. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, Seven, you're over halfway. Eight, nine, ten, last ten. Eight, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Nice. Meeting in the plank pose. Alternating knee drops here. Starting with that right knee again, shoulders over wrist. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. Three, four. And two, bum low. Three. Four, four, tight. Five. Six, gaze up, don't hang the head. Seven, when I get you down, we hit down dog. That's eight, you're almost there. Nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down dog. Nice left leg up, getting ready. Five, six, seven, eight, it's up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two people, flip straight. Last ten, then we have runner lunge. Seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one, sweep it through. Left knee stacks over that left ankle. Light on the fingertips, back knee drops. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight, it's down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, light on the fingertips. Three. Last twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice feet together. We step that left. 
left, right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're nice and low on the legs, away from the heels. And three. Five, last five, then we jump. In three, get ready. Two, one, we jump it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Nice and low. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, high knees up, two, three, four, keep going. And two, option to slow down if you need. Three, keep breathing. Last 20. Nice, walk yourself back. Again, so you've got room in front of you. Option to do the same thing as last time, just alternating knee lifts. Excuse me, really keeping the core tight. Option is to kick it up. Getting ready? Space by the jaw, you're kicking. Five, six, seven, eight, and right. Left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Three, keep breathing. Last twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, it's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Back yourself up again. We're stepping in the squat. Keep that left foot. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. This left, right. Two, weight from the heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last twenty. Lengthens, and 
And then we switch left leg back, right arm lengthening. So it's alternating here with the feet and the arms. Staying low in those legs, leaning the upper body forward. Again, keep the big toes lifted to keep the weight of the heels. Getting ready, right foot, left hand to start. Five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Three, keep the core tight. And four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, it's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, both arms and slow. It's back and in. Let's go to one. Two. Three, flex the triceps. Four, it's slow. Five, low on those legs. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, last ten, slow. It's ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. say red light. Three. I need you to stop. Two. And I say green light. One. And a nice standing up, nice and tall. The arms go long. Feet are about hip width apart. Keep them parallel. Um, one count up, keeping the legs straight, working into the calves. One count down. Getting ready, standing up nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down. Heels up, down. Good. Three. Four, legs straight. Five. Six, really flex the quads. Seven, flex the calves. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two. Two. Three, level threes, arms up. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, we add a shoulder press. Last ten. Down. Nine, good. Eight, that's it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Feet come together again, a little bend in those knees. Send the hips back and lean the chest forward. Palms start facing each other. Elbows are bent. Open it up into a fly. And then you bring it back together, really working those um, pecs, the chest muscles right here. Getting ready, lean the body forward, shoulders back. Five, six, seven, eight. It's open, close. Two, control it. Three, you got it. Four, five, six, seven, option to alternate. Eight, nine, ten. Two, two, hit the stroke. Three, keep the arms lifted. Four, you got it. Hit the stroke. Five, you're almost there. Six, hit the stroke. Seven, hit the stroke. Eight, hit the stroke. Nine, hit the stroke. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five more. Four, do you can. Three, two, one, and down. Nice. Chest is lifted, arms long, feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Dipping the right shoulder down and then the left shoulder down. So you're dropping the shoulders, but you want to keep the obliques tight. The core is working. Getting ready, standing up tall. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. Good. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two. The core is tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. Last 
last 20, that's it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Definitely placing your weights down. If you want to grab a quick little sip of water, have a good time. If you have a resistance band, grab it. But again, if you don't have a band, don't worry about it. It's not necessary. If you're using a band, it's coming around the thighs. The feet are coming about hip width apart. They can be slightly turned out if that's more comfortable for you. It doesn't really matter. It just depends on what your natural rotation is. So we're sitting it nice and low into a squat. And your option is just to squat here. If that's good enough for you, then that's good enough for you. Option, as you squat low, you lift it up. That right leg lifts. We go down and then left leg lift. So a little bit of hip flexors in there too. Shaking your option. If you're lifting that leg, that right leg lifts first after the squat. Getting ready, chest up, shoulders back. Five, six, seven, eight. It's down, right, down, left. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, the weights in the heels, lift the big toes, eight, nine, ten, ten, Getting ready? Left leg up. Five. 
Six, seven, eight, again. Two, three, right to the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two. We're not pulsing, I lied to you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. We're just gonna roll with it. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last twenty. Here, then we'll move along and pulse. Four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten is ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. You can have a flex. Three. Four, you're almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Press it back and do a quick child pose. When you're ready, bringing your body forward. Forearms to mat, sending those legs back in a dolphin plank. So you want the bums nice and low. You don't want to stick your hip up, your hips up into the air. We're alternating knee drops here in dolphin option. It's just to hold with the knees down, roll with the legs straight. Your call. Getting ready? Forearms down, alternating knee drops. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Keep breathing. Last one, that's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. When you're ready, running your way up to the left side. Left arm comes down. Left toes are tucked, and that right leg is up for donkey kicks. Again, we're here for 50 donkey kicks, and then we'll hold the line pulse. Five, six, seven, eight, and shoulder back. Two, back, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, two, right to the shoulder. Three. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep it lifted. Last one, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, keep the foot flexed. Three, keep it lifted. Last one, that's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Pressing it back for a quick child if you like. When you're ready, meeting with the belly down. And just resting the forearms on the mat in front of you. So, what you're doing here is lifting that right leg up as high as you can, lift the thigh up, mat, that left leg joins, and then we go down for two. So, it's right, left, down for two. Hold five, leading with the right foot, and then five, leading with that left foot. Getting ready? That right leg lifts, left leg lifts, and then we lower down for two. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, down, for two. Four more. Left, down, for two. Three, lift the thighs. Down, for two. Two, left, down for two, last one, left, down for two, it's left, right, down for two, last four, right, down for two, last three, down for two, two, down for two, last one is up, right, down for two, nice, touch the toes when that behind you, bring your hand as wide as you're not, and press it up so you're in a plank push-up position. 
So you can keep the knees down with the toes tucked if you'd like, that's totally your call. Or you can let the legs straight. All we're doing here is coming through 10 push-ups. And then another round of those same uh, things that we did for the hamstrings. Getting ready? 10 push-ups here, that's it. Five, six, seven, eight. It's down, up, nine, eight. You can go at your own speed. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Legs belly down. Four arms on the mat in front of you. Untuck those toes. Again, that right thigh lifts first. Really getting the thigh to lift off the mat. Right foot first. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, down for two. Two, left, down for two. Three, left, down for two. Four, left, down for two. Last one, it's right, left, down for two. Get ready, left, right, down for two. Last four, right, down for two. Three, right, down for two. Two, right, down for two. Last one, it's left, right, down for two. Nice, 10 more push-ups, and then we'll move on. Getting ready, option knees down, toes up. Option legs are straight. Five, six, seven, eight. It's down, up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Left foot up and over the knee, part of the right thigh. Left knee presses up wide. 
So just that right leg is working. Option, left leg is lifted up to the sky. Again, just that right leg is working. Whatever works for you. Both feet down, left foot is crossed up and over, or it's up to the sky. Getting ready, taking your option, gaze up, do not look side to side. Five, six, seven, eight, up, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Those legs go up to the sky, weights to the side, hands behind the head with those shoulders lifted, alternating toe taps right here. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight, it's one. Two, twist of the core. Four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Three. Four. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. Leaning back. So this time again, option both feet down. Option right foot is crossed up, put over the knee part of that left side. Right knee pressed out wide. So you're getting a nice stretch in that right hip and just working that left glute. Option right leg up to the sky. Again, do not look side to side. Keep your face straight up. Getting ready. Five, six, seven, eight, up, down. Two, squeeze the glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. If you have weights, just place them up by the head, the side of the ears. So you've got two options here. You can either have a hand in the shape of a diamond underneath the sit bone so that you're helping to uh, provide a little bit more support to that lower back. This is your option. You can kick those feet out, bring the knees in, in a little reverse crunch here. Maybe you want to lift the hips up to be, uh, make it a little bit more challenging. Low breeze option to grab onto those weights by the ears, but you want to actively press your lower back into the mat below you. You don't want to let it arch up. And again, we're kicking the feet out. Knees come in with the optional Hip lift if you want that challenge. Getting ready. Keeping that lower back pressing down. Five, six, seven, eight. Out. In. Two. Lift the hip to five. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. Nice. Make me around your sit bones. Sit when you're ready here. Coming into both pose. So you want to make sure, again, that your back is flat and you're not rounding in the spine. If you have weights, you're grabbing onto them, palms facing each other, 
coming in through 10 hammer curls. And then when you're done, the arm stay to 90. We're going out to the side for 10. So what you want to watch that you're not doing is, excuse me, you don't just want to hold the weights by the shoulders and bring the elbows up in. That doesn't really work anything. You want to keep the arm at 90. So the entire wrist, elbow, and uh, shoulder all align at the very top. Getting ready? Starting with those 10 uh, hammer curls and then 10 up to the side. Making sure that you're keeping the arms at 90. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's hammer. Two, three, four, five. Last five. Get ready. Four, three, two, one. We go up. Two, three, four, five. Last five. Then we hammer curl. Three, two, one. It's hammer. Two, three, four, five. Last five. And up the side. Get ready. In three, two, one to the side, down, two, down, three, four, five, last five, then one more set. Three, two, one, it's hammer. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one to the side, down, nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next, when you're ready, weights to the side. If you have a yoga block um, or like a water bottle or anything that can just sort of stand there and not move, you can grab it. And it's just going to be a guide for you. So place it into the middle of your mat. And both your feet start on the right side of that object in the middle of the mat here. Your hands are on either side of the hips. Middle fingers face forward. Jack knife straight here. Making sure again that you're not letting that spine round. You don't want to cave in. You want to keep everything lifted and open. Option to bring the arms off the mat, but again, you want to really keep that back flat. Getting ready? Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. It's fast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. That's three. You got it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. When you're ready, place that to the side. Place your weights to the side. Come on to your right side in a side plank. So you have the option to have a weight in that left hand or not. I am not going to. You want to make sure that your right elbow and shoulder are stacked. And if that bottom knee is down, the knees are in line with each other. So you don't want the hips so far up in the air that you're not engaged in the core. Just step that knee out wide a little bit. Option, tap both legs long. Again, you just want to make sure the ankles are stacked one on top of the other so you're not passing through the knee one in front of the other. Well, so that left arm is up to the sky, left leg is long. Left leg lifts up, a little bit of outward thigh action there. Down, in, elbow and knee come together, out. So it's up, down, in, out. Nice and fast. Again, option weight or no weight. I wouldn't uh, recommend it, but if you're feeling strong, then go for it. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Up, down, in, out. Two, in, three, four. Five, six, four is tight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, in, out. Nice. Coming onto your back. What you're doing here is bringing the legs to 90 90. So your shoulders are relaxed down, your neck is relaxed down. Alternating toe taps here, hinging from the hips, not from the knees. So you want to really work those hip flexors. Option is to lift the shoulders. Getting ready, right leg drops first, hinging from those hips. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Three, four, 
four, five. Six, you're halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Coming on to your left side, inside plank. So again, that left forearm is down. Elbow and shoulder are stacked. If that bottom knee is down, the knees line up with each other. Or the heels are stacked, one on top of the other. If the leg is straight, do not let that knee buckle. You really want to protect it there. Getting ready, that right leg lifts up to start. Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down, in, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, that's it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and out. Nice. Coming up to your back. No weight, no props here. Hands are behind the head with the elbows wide. Then just so we're alternating opposite knee to opposite elbow, kicking that leg straight out. Getting ready, take a deep breath. Really keep your core tight the whole time. Keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Stay with it. Three, keep the legs low. Four, elbows wide. Five, take the legs straight out, point the toes. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Making your way up into seated. Grab a little sip of water when you're ready. We're going to come through one more exercise, right and left side here. And then we'll stretch it out. So one more for the core, a little bit for the arms. Your feet are out nice and wide, sitting up nice and tall, flexing through those heels. So you're still engaging through the legs, um, even though you're not actively working that muscle. Keep the spine straight, weight is in that right hand, and that right elbow is nice and close to the rib cage. Left hand can be at the hip or behind the head, you just want to make sure that that elbow is wide. We're crossing right hand the left toes, and then you pull that elbow back, keep the core tight. Get ready, left elbow is wide, right arm crosses to start. Five, six, seven, eight. Twist, back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five. Ten 
your last 10. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and pull. Nice. Place that weight to the side. When you're ready, just go ahead and crisscross the feet and make your way onto your hands and knees. So a quick little shoulder stretch here just because that one uh, works the shoulders. Um, keep that left hand on the mat. All you're gonna do is thread that right arm underneath the left to drop that right shoulder. Option is to send that left arm long, really, really pressing the right shoulder into the mat. Or option is to bring that left hand behind the body. Good, really deepening, um, pressing it a little bit deeper into your uh, twisted puppy pose. I forgot what it was called. And just take two deep breaths here. Maybe you want to untuck those toes as you hold the pose. One more deep breath. Good, when you're ready, make sure you tuck those toes back behind you. Left hand returns to the mat, pressing yourself up into tabletop. Right hand plants down. Left hand threads underneath, drop that left shoulder. Option here is to send that right arm long or to bring the right hand behind the body. Good. Pressing it nice and deep into your twisted puppy pose and taking a couple deep breaths. Good. Last full breath. When you're ready, placing that right hand down, pressing it up into tabletop. This time, step both hands forward a few inches and surrender the chest down. You want to make sure those hips still stay stacked over top of the knees. And once you're in extended puff, you can untuck those toes. If you um, want to come into the full variation, you can just bring the chin to the mat so you can not throw it open. But if that feels too much, then just relax the forehead down. Good, do whatever works for you. And then when you're ready, tuck those toes to the mat behind you, pressing it up, walk the hands back, bring the knees as wide as the mat, untuck the toes and sit it back for a nice wide-legged child to open up the hips. Good, when you're ready, walking the hands all the way back up, Sitting up nice and tall, just bringing those feet back on the mat in front of you, coming onto your sit bones. So again, the feet come together, the knees come up nice and wide for the butterfly. Just grabbing onto your ankles here. Inhale as you lengthen your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Oh, excuse me, that was a bad time for a hiccup. As you exhale, pulling your chest forward, the elbows can come inside the knees, or you can bring the forearms to the mat in front of you. And just let the head hang heavy. Take one quick moment here in this bowl to set a positive intention for the rest of your uh, evening or your day, whenever you're watching this, you're doing this. Taking a quick moment to thank yourself for taking this last hour out of your day and using it to invest into the health of your mind and your body. And very slowly sitting up nice and tall, use the hands to guide the knees together. Send the legs out long and give it a little shake, shake, shake. Give yourself a high five and that's it. Grab some water, eat something good to feel your body back up. And I will see you later, alligators.